This cat treat recipe is really simple to make. As I mentioned, it just has three ingredients. So the first thing we're gonna do in a small mixing bowl here, I'm gonna add half a cup of whole wheat flour, one egg, and then I have one can of sardines. This is a 3.75 ounce can of sardines packed in water. And I'm just gonna dump those in. Uh, sardines are really easy to break up and you'll see that as you're kind of mixing these together and creating the dough, the sardines are gonna break up into really small pieces. While you are mixing this or before you mix this, you're also gonna wanna preheat your oven to 350 degrees. You may hear mine beep here in a second um, as it heats up. So then we're just gonna mix this all together until it forms a dough consistency and all of those sardine pieces are mixed up nicely, broken into small bits. Uh, you could puree them if you wanted to, but they break up nicely. As I said, they're packed in water, so they're uh, pretty mushy when you pour them in and as you mix them, you can see they they just break up really nicely. So now that my dough's finished, on an ungreased cookie sheet, I'm just gonna break off little pinches of the dough. Think about the size of cat treats and how small they are. So you're just gonna wanna do that and then kind of flatten them out and place them on your ungreased cookie sheet. You should be able to make about 50 to 75 cat treats with this recipe. Um, this is great for us because we have multiple cats. If you don't have multiple cats and you're worried that this is gonna be too much, you can either cut the recipe in half or you can make the treats and you can freeze some of the dough or freeze some of the already baked cat treats for up to three months. So this is a great way if you have just one or two cats, you can make a bunch of cat treats uh, to be able to use in the future and you don't have to cook all the time, you know, multiple times a week or even once a week to make your homemade treats. So once our tray is full, I'm gonna bake these in my 350 degree oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. And they, you'll notice when they're done, they'll brown up nicely and they'll start to crack um, when they dry out. So you'll know that they're done. You can take them out. Keep in mind, these don't have their preservatives that commercial cat treats do. So you need to refrigerate them or store them in an airtight container on the counter. On the counter, they're only gonna last for about three to five days, uh, maybe a week if you're lucky. My suggestion for storing them would be to put them in an airtight container in the refrigerator. Uh, they'll get about two to three weeks of life out of them if you store them that way. So uh, that's my suggestion. But if you have multiple cats and you think you'll go through these in just a few days, you could certainly store them in an airtight container at room temperature on your counter in a cupboard as well. So you're gonna bake them, as I said, for 10 to 12 minutes in your 350 degree oven. And then as soon as they're cooled, you can feed them to your cat. For all of the nutritional information on these treats, just click the link below the video. That will take you to my written guide and all of that is there. You could also print the recipe out from that link um, and save it to have on hand. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us via email. Thanks for watching this recipe guide.